about just throwing the baseball in general. Not besides the pitching, second base, shortstop, outfield doesn't really matter. So the, the number one problem I see with young guys is not staying close. And all staying close is, if I'm a right-handed pitcher, it's my left side of my body. The left side is my front side as a, as a throwing right-handed right -handed thrower or pitcher. This has to stay crossed, closed position as long as I can as I deliver the baseball. If I'm throwing across the diamond or if I'm pitching. So, so when your kid's looking at you or your young ball player is looking at you to step and throw, the first thing you're probably going to see is a lot of this. It leaves the arm exposed and they drag. It causes friction on the arm. It's bad for your arm. What we want to do, I like to teach the little guys, point, point, tuck. Elbows up. We want to get that elbow point, point, and tuck. Just like you're going to tuck a football, point, point, tuck. It speeds the arm up, gets the arm in a good throwing position. Very easy for dads at home or young coaches to say, that's what we need to do. Um, for older guys, especially my pitchers, is reach and pull. I want to be here in a set position. It's the same thing as staying close. You'll see a lot of big league guys, college guys on TV in this position somewhere in their delivery. We want to reach if I'm right-handed pitcher, reach third base side, reach, pull back in, arms out front, and then a good finish. That's just staying close. The hip, elbow, shoulder, knee, foot, all has to have that cross position.